the major element every greenhouse gas will be compared with a carbon dioxide we call that as a carbon footprint because all the greenhouse gas will be compared with a carbon dioxide only which is a major element of the greenhouse gas so we have greenhouse gases carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxide cfc 1112 hfc 134a sulfur hexafluoride are the greenhouse gases once a greenhouse gas is coming into the atmosphere at an average how many years of lifetime will be staying if you look at the lifetime point of view highest lifetime of the greenhouse gas is sulfur hexafluoride yes f6 nitrous oxide will be staying in the atmosphere for a 120 years cfc 12 for a 100 years cfc 11 for a 45 years hfc for a 14.6 years methane for a 12 years methane hfc cfc uh, nitrous oxide sulfur hexafluoride will be having average lifetime average lifetime right and here global warming potential means each and every greenhouse gas how much they are having a potentiality when we compare with the carbon dioxide to cause the global warming how much potentiality they have when we compare with the carbon dioxide to cause a global warming to cause a global warming carbon dioxide is having one potentiality one one and methane 12 21 times of the carbon dioxide that methane is having global warming potential nitrous oxide is having 310 times of the carbon dioxide hfc is having 1300 times of the carbon dioxide cfc 11 4600 times cfc 12 10600 times sulfur hexafluoride having 23900 times of the carbon dioxide it can cause the global warming global warming potentiality of each greenhouse gas so the sequence of ascending order descending order both need to be remembered for average lifetime and global warming potential global warming potential 